someone I love was hurting, I I'd march right up to the gods' palace or whatever and be like, dude, are you my dad or what? That's exactly what I did. Hopefully my plea didn't sound that ridiculous, but what father wouldn't want to help their son, right? Mine, as it turns out. The gods of our village lived atop a high mountain. I brought Ash to the threshold beyond which mortals could not pass. There, I cried out to my father for the first time. Not for his love, but his help. But he never came. And so I took matters into my own hands, as I had my whole life. But Ash was not a god, as I supposedly was. So what'd you do? I claimed my birthright. Stole it, actually. Can't imagine that went over well. It did not. Do you know what separates men from gods? Togas? Magic. Magic that I hoped would save Ash's life. too late. <laughs> By the time I returned with the fire, this world would come to Noah's magic. Ash was dead. I am so sorry. And I think I know what happens next. The gods cursed you. Made monsters. Gods monster. didn't create monsters. I did. Out of spite, I gave the magic I stole to the village. I figured that way people could help themselves instead of worshiping these fickle, uncaring sky bullies. I was foolish to think that too. Why? What do they do with it? Humans always do. They saw the same power and privilege the gods abused. They didn't want to stop worshiping the gods. They wanted to be them. And in their lust for that power, monsters were born. Along with many of the world's ills. Cursed to this day because I trusted them. Perhaps I deserve it. Like hell. Look, I can't uncurse you or whatever, but I can give you a place to stay while we figure out how to. A new home. You got my vote is what I'm saying. I'm grateful, but I can't accept. We well, can't leave either. Barrier spell, remember? The blood of a god flows through my veins. Magic cannot hold me. <laughs>